I hold in my hand enough money to satisfy a demand from Dr. Evil himself. One hundred billion dollars! Okay, that might not actually be true because this is just a GTX 660 and it's not actually all that expensive even in the current GPU market where everything is insanely expensive. So I thought it might be fun today to look at the Steam hardware survey to see A, what the most popular GPUs that are being used out there for gaming right now are and B, on the used market, most notably eBay, how much do those very popular GPUs currently go for on the open market? And that might help you figure out whether it's time to get into PC gaming right now or to wait just a little bit longer. Hopefully it's just a little bit longer and not like another six months. Like I, I really thought this would all be over by now, but we're still in a GPU shortage. But we're gonna talk about all that after a word from today's video sponsor. And that is the coldest water. I have right here the 32 ounce coldest water bottle. It has a built-in straw. This thing is built like a tank. It's insulated. It will keep your water cold literally all day, especially if you're throwing a little bit of ice in there. It will quite literally keep the ice going all day long. I took one of my coldest water bottles to the golf course uh, for 54 holes of golf. Now, it was par three golf, but anecdotally, it was my blue smaller water bottle. It was filled with water and ice, and by the end of an 80-ish degree day, yeah, it still had ice in it and the water was still ice cold. But regardless, if you're interested in one of these water bottles, they come in a variety of colors and sizes. There's links down below for more information. You can use code HH10 for 10% off. And you can also click on that link for the rolling giveaways that the coldest water runs in case you just wanna to try to win a free water bottle. Regardless, links are in the description down below. Now, if you didn't know, Steam runs a continuous hardware survey uh, that is readily available for you to just sort of peruse the statistics that are collected. And this includes everything about your system if you choose to participate, whether we're talking about the resolution of the display that you're using or whether we're talking about the CPU, the GPU, that sort of thing. So we have a lot of available information through this survey about what GPUs are actually being used on Steam. And that's what we have pulled up here right now. And the top five gaming GPUs on the market, the GTX 1060, 1050 Ti, the RTX 2060, the GTX 1650, and 1050. So a lot of 10 series cards up near the top, and that's likely just because they've been out for a good long while. They are very good cards. A lot of people skip the 20 series anyways because of pricing and also the perception that the 10 series was still good enough. So there's a variety of reasons out there that the 10 series still seems to reign supreme here. But we're just gonna start here at the very top with the GTX 1060 and look at eBay and see what these things are going for. And it does not specify whether it's talking about the three gig or the six gig version as I assume uh, they're just reported as the GTX 1060. So we're just gonna search for the GTX 1060 here. And the way I do this is really basic. I click buy it now options and also sort by pricing with the pricing being the least to greatest. And that just gives me a good look at what cards might be available for purchase right now that are the cheapest possible things available. And it is absolutely worth noting that you need to check out a couple of things as you're ordering these cards if you do decide to go the eBay route. First and foremost, make sure the graphics card itself is from a reputable vendor, uh, whether that is the actual online store that you're buying it from. eBay has a lot of listings that are not reputable. What you'll see is, a seller that's selling something at a really good price, but they have absolutely zero feedback. I tend to avoid those just out of a little bit of a sense of caution. Some of them are likely valid listings, but a lot of those will be accounts that are just trying to make a quick buck very easily. The other thing you wanna pay attention to is the actual maker of the GPU. Go for one that actually has a reputable GPU history. Your uh, Gigabytes, Asus, uh, EVGAs, if you're talking about NVIDIA cards, don't go for those sort of unbranded GPUs because those are almost certainly scam GPUs and should be completely avoided. Basically the rule of thumb with eBay, if the price is too good to be true, 
it probably is. But regardless, looking down here at some of these listings, it looks like the absolute cheapest right now as of July 7th, which is the recording date of this video. It looks like the cheapest you're going to find a three gigabyte version of the 1060 is right around that $200 point. This Asus one actually looks like a solid card, probably has decent cooling, but you're going to have to replace both fans as it is uh, shown that it does need both fans, which you can typically find replacement fans on places like either eBay or AliExpress. It just may take a little bit of time for those to get there. Then we have an HP OEM 1060, which will run just fine right around that 210 ish dollars after shipping and then the listing sort of escalate from there so 200 is going to be the floor right now for uh buying a 1063 gig version on ebay let's go ahead and get rid of the three gigs and just go for the six gig versions and it looks like for the six gig versions you're going to be entering the market at about 300 dollars. so uh yeah definitely a very expensive gpu right now considering its age its original msrp which by the way tech power up lists that original msrp for the six gig version at 300 dollars so this card cost used exactly what it costs brand new now as we move on to the 1050 ti's this is basically exactly what i was talking about with these sort of scammy listings where these top several cards are almost certainly scam items and are not to be purchased under any circumstance but if you do scroll down a ways past these sort of entry cards you start to see ones that are a little bit more reputable obviously this uh this particular one here is a 750 ti though being from asus it is likely a, a valid card it's just not the card we're looking for if we keep going we finally find a gigabyte 1050 ti um yeah these things are going off it looks like for 170 ish and those are ones shipping from china so again use your better discretion there if you're looking for one that is more local that's going to arrive much faster than one shipped from china it's looking like you're going to be paying around 200 dollars. so at that price i can't recommend a 1050 ti at least on ebay just because the 1063 gig version is a better GPU than the uh, 1050 Ti. Even if a three gig version of the 1060 costs just a little bit more, it's probably worth saving that extra amount up and just buying that. If you're absolutely stuck on buying one of these cards, I would absolutely not spend $220 for a GTX 1050 Ti right now. That is a no-go. Now the RTX 2060s are pretty straightforward, at least on eBay right now. There doesn't seem to be a lot of fake cards out there, and it looks like you're going to probably pay at least $450, but with shipping and considering that, if again, if you're looking for one that's shipping a little bit closer to home here in the United States, you're probably going to be looking at more like $500. $500. Um, I absolutely, again, would not recommend purchasing an RTX 2060 for about $500. I think you'd be a lot better off just holding out at that point. If you absolutely need a stopgap solution for um, just even a handful of PC games to get you up and running, I think you'd be better off just buying like a 750 Ti to play some Fortnite and some other retro games and then just grabbing a 3060 when you can actually find one on the brand new market for at or very near MSRP because even on some of the new egg shuffles where I think new egg is probably gouging a little bit you can still get a 3060 for about $500 depending on what item it's bundled with and by the way if you're curious how a GTX 750 Ti performs here in 2021 I'll try to remember to put that card from a recent video where I did look at the 750 Ti in some recent titles and I was actually pleasantly surprised. And now we get into the last couple of uh, the cards from the top five of the Steam Hardware Survey. A 1650 looks like, again, we're gonna be right around that $300 point. And I feel like the 1650 is probably buoyed just a little bit in the hardware survey because this is also a GPU that you find in a lot of laptops as well. So I think those are probably reported together on the hardware survey. So that might be why the 1650 is as high as it is however it does look like uh, whether you're talking about OEM models or even uh, your other models that may have dual fans like this MSI one it looks like $300 give or take is going to be where you're at for a GTX 1650 and finally we get to the GTX 1050 non TI once again it looks like we have a lot of fake GPUs being posted as 1050s don't buy those skip on down the listings and we have some that are shipping from China, but those are not the 1050s. 
Uh, if you're looking for something closer to home that's going to ship pretty quickly and get to you hopefully relatively soon here in the States, looks like about $150 is the floor for those. And it looks like they escalate all the way up to $175. Those are still shipping from China. Here we have one that's shipping probably from the United States, but it's a $185. Wow, there are not a whole lot of affordable 1050s that are shipping from anywhere but China, which is fine if you're willing to wait, you know, you can buy something that does ship from across the ocean and it'll just take a little while to get to you, but it probably will eventually get to you and it probably will work just fine. Uh, but if you're looking for something closer to home, it looks like you're really gonna have to bet on paying about $200 for this. And again, you may as well just get a three gigabyte 1060. So the only card that I would even approach recommending based on what I'm seeing here right now on eBay, of these top five GPUs on the Steam hardware survey, the GTX 1060 is the only one that even approaches what I would be willing to pay for it. And even then it's, it's still way overpriced, but as far as a stopgap solution goes, before the GPU shortage, these things were going for around $100, give or take 10 to $15 for the GTX 1060 three gigabyte cards. So seeing it jump by 100% on the price, it's not as bad as some of these other cards like the GTX 1050 should absolutely not cost anywhere near $200. So if you're looking for a popular used GPU to get yourself up and running right now, the 1063 gig may be okay. Outside of that, everything is way overpriced. Um, if you really want the six gig 1060, then $300 may not be the absolute worst thing out there. It's certainly not the worst GPU deal out there, but uh, my advice remains, I would find something cheaper something like a 750 Ti that you can get for $100, $120, something like that. And then you can just sort of weather this storm. Hopefully the GPU shortage is coming to a close in the next few months. There do seem to be some good signs out there. So hang in there. But of course, I do want to hear from you guys, those of you out there that have purchased a GPU since the GPU shortage started. What GPU did you get? Where did you get it? Did you get a good deal on it? Let me know all those thoughts in those comments down below. As for the video, if you like it, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Who's Your Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Who's Your Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.